Hey everybody, Masak here. Welcome back to Shining Force, the Legacy of Great Intention. Sorry that it's been about a month or so since I continued this LP, but I kind of got caught up quite a bit with classes, and just recently we had finals, so I was focusing on getting all of the work done that had to be handed in and um, studying for the finals so I could pass everything and move on to my next set of classes coming up in the next term. But I had stopped streaming specifically for that reason too, to continue the let's play of the game and try to get as much of this done as I can. So in this one session I'm going to try to get a couple videos done and then by the end of the day I'll try to at least have four or five of these done to edit, put together, and post on YouTube. Now I have actually done quite a number of streams and highlighted them and put the highlights on Twitch and YouTube for everyone to watch and the Shining of Four stream videos are actually much 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 further than the LP is. But with all of that said, um, let's get back into this. And in case you were wondering where we left off, we have just gotten back from Man Arena, um, talking to Henri, getting her to join, going into the Cave of Darkness, retrieving the Orb of Light to become the true hero of light. And now we are back in the town and or we are back in the other town where we're, we're supposed to get a boat but then the boat got destroyed oh no the boat hasn't gotten destroyed yet sorry I'll cut that out so we go and we talk to the mayor when we come back here and as you notice when we walked around and we came back the circus tent was up but we couldn't just head right in so we came back Talked to the mayor. The mayor said that his grandson went to the circus went to the circus and hasn't come back yet. And if we go and retrieve his grandson for him, he will give us his boat, which is the only one left in this town. So when you enter the tent, you run across Michaela again and she puts you into this battle. We are now at the end of this battle at the start of this video here, with nothing left but the three bad what but the boss and his two essential guards. It is a, a Gort's turn at the time. And what I did is everyone over here, these five people on the left here came up this left staircase right here. And all of these people came up this right, right staircase here. And the reason Arthur that we got is over here and not up on the field here are up on the platform here is because I took Arthur and sent him back to open this chest and grab this item for us. So all that's left now are these two dire clowns here and the marionette here which is the boss. Who as you can see has 35 HP, un who has unknown a MP, 35 HP, 25 attack, 13 defense. 6 move and 13 agility, although he will not be moving, and he can cast Freeze 3, which has a really huge radius of effect if you can get someone in the center of it. So you want to be careful and keep everyone off to the sides to avoid getting a group of your people hit with Freeze 3. And he can do a decent bit of damage otherwise too. And being your first true actual boss, he has the added in mechanic of after every round he restores some of his HP. Okay, I still have to open these two chests. So we got a steel arrow in that one. Now I'm going to attempt to take out his, um, ah, darn it. Wrong command there. So I'm going to attempt to take out the two dire clowns first. And then go for him. And I'm going to try to keep everyone out of harm's way while I do that. Now he can hit this far away with freeze 3 by the way. So you want to make sure you have this person moved or have this person be the one that grabs both of these chests. And keep everyone else a safe distance away from him. Now what I was doing when I was going through checking everyone there is I was just seeing everyone's levels. Seeing who was level 8, who was level 7. 
Everyone's about the same level though, so I'm just going to start wailing on these guys with a couple characters. Alright, so Ken inflicted a damage, did a second attack, inflicting a damage again, defeating the Dire Clown, got 31 experience and 180 coins. Alright, I'm just going to use have Honorary use her Blaze 1 spell here on this clown. And she gained 11 experience. Start moving some of my characters back more, or moving more towards the middle, but uh, try to keep them away from everything. And the second chest here, closer to the boss, had 50 coins in it. Alright, let's move Gong a little more to the inside there. Yeah, I'll use Freeze on him. She should have enough to get some casts off on the boss as well, so we're not going to be too much um, worse off by using Freeze. Alright, so sorry. I'd... While talking, I instinctively just kind of went through that. I know she gained 130 coins from beating him and defeated him. If you really want to see the experience and damage she got, you can rewind and pause the video there to check yourself for a moment. Again, sorry that I forgot to actually stop it and check that myself. But I will put up a note for that in um, editing for the amount of experience and damage that she did there. And everything else aside from the coins. How much experience she got, the damage that she did that killed him. I think it was like 8 or 9 damage anyway. And the ex yeah, the damage that was done and the experience that she got from it. Alright, I'm going to start being a little bit more cautious with people now. Right, let's move Arthur up there. Let's move you down here with everyone. Alright, gone your emergency healing if anyone needs it. Okay, now... Freeze costs one more point of MP to cast, and it really doesn't do any better against him than Blaze. So you're just better off using Blaze 2 for 2 MP on him. Alright, I knew he was going to do that. Oh, okay, Freeze 3 actually doesn't do too much, and he killed her. That's okay, she got some experience from him and killed an enemy. We'll just have to revive her after this. And so as you saw there, Freeze 3 is still a a five person cross formation casting if someone's in the middle of it. But he can cast it to about he can cast it three spaces out. So he can cast it to here. And he can cast it to just in front of that chest like I mentioned before. Alright, let's put you on the other side, that way he can easily cast on both of you. And he can only hit one of you if he chooses. Alright, I'm going to start moving people up to the sides and like away from him. So he can't reach out with Freeze 3 and t attack a group here. Alright, I'm going to have to pull back May and get her healed now. That's fine, I'm expecting there to be a number of heal of healing needed in this battle. So it's nothing, you know, too shocking to have happen. The main thing when you have bosses like this is trying to remember um, the radius of the spell casting. So you can keep everyone outside of the range. Because the one key thing with casting any spell is there has to be someone in the middle of it. Like, although he can cast to here, and he could hit me right here, I'd have to be inside that casting range to hit the middle of it. Alright, let's move you down and away so you can get healed. Heal one. Alright, so... Healed her for about 
10 HP and he got 16 experience. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the moment. I was checking my notes as he... As, um, Lao healed her there. Ooh, if I put you there, you're gonna be... Easily hit with a spell. If both... Uh, Henri and Tao go down. I'm fine with that for the moment. It's been a while since I got into the games, or got into the game, so I'm not completely sure how well I'll handle keeping the mages alive. Nice. All right, so he attacked the marionette, doing 13 points of damage. I didn't see how much experience he got. I. Th I think it was somewhere around the lines of 12 experience. Or, well, no, 6. Uh, darn it, he missed. Okay, yep, I knew he was going to do that. Please survive, Gort. Alright, Gort has to be healed now, too. And I figured that Tao would get killed there. So sorry for not talking, but yeah, like I said earlier, I'm going to attempt to get at least four to five uh, LP videos recorded for today, and try to get at least one or two of them up over this week. Alright, uh, darn it, he didn't do nearly as much, okay. So the leader attacked doing 6 damage and got 8 experience there. He's now attacking the leader. And now the leader needs to be healed too. Actually, I want to see what you have for a weapon. Bronze Lance, okay. Let's move in Luke here. Try to get more damage on him, and of course both of the warriors miss. Alright, if it gets both of these two in, in one of his spell castings, that's fine as long as I keep the leader alive. Lao should barely survive, I think, if he were to get hit. Alright, so Lao increased to level 8, attack increased by 1, defense increased by 1, hit points went up by 2. I'm going to move some people out of the way. Okay, yep, I knew he was going to do that. Oh, darn. Lost a healer, but... That kept Hero from being killed there, so... In the long run, that was worth it, because it kept the leader from dying. Okay, main flicks 5 points of damage, gains 6 experience. Alright, Luke, let's go give this another shot now. Ah, uh, darn it. Why are they missing? They're only gaining 1 experience, by the way, when they miss that, so... Alright, you still need to be healed as well. I know what I want to check what you had for a weapon. Bronze Lance? Okay. I'll set you up here to kind of do some damage control and keep him from recovering too much. But it looks like your level might be a little too low for that as well. Gong, of course, only having 9 MP, can only uh, support heal 3 times. And then if you want to have him heal someone after that, you'll need to have a healing item on him. Uh, darn it. Alright, May did 4 damage and got 5 experience there. Not going to move the leader back up just yet. Go ahead and kill Arthur if you want. Wow, you missed. Good job, Arthur. Alright. 
what I need is Luke and Gort to not be missing their attacks on him so much. Because this is going to be a little harder because I lost my mages, so I don't actually have any... ...have any ranged attacks I can do on him. Nice! Luke inflicted 6 points of damage, got 8 experience. Alright, May, let's have you attack again. She did 5 points of damage and got 6 experience. Uh, my throat feels a little weird right now, which is not good. Alright, he's going to attack May. He did 8 points of damage. Which is roughly about half of her health. So I need to have... her get healed now. You have a healing item if I need to use it, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, and what happened there was the leader... Ah, crap, I knew he was too close for that. Our leader there did 7 points of damage and got 9 experience. And what the hell, he just killed Chris on us. He's really getting on my frickin' nerves now. Darn it, she barely had any of her MP used, bastard. Alright, Ken does 7 damage and got 9 experience. Alright, Gort, don't miss him this time. Ah, darn it. Why did you miss? I'm really upset about Chris because she still had a lot of MP to help heal everyone. And that was all my fault, that death. Crap, did Lau get killed too? Well, I do have healing items on people if they need them. Wow, damn, I've never had both of my casters and healers get killed in this fight at the end of it. Let's just hope we can get through this. Nice. Gort did 6 damage and got 8 experience there. We're going to have Ken move away and heal himself. 8 points. I would have liked a little more. But he should hopefully still be able to survive a hit there. And we'll have May move away and heal herself as well. Hopefully I moved her far enough away. Good, it looks like I did. Oh, that's right. I remember when Lao died, I had to move to heal the leader because I had the leader attack instead of um move not that long ago. Alright, come on. Yes! Leader inflicts 7 points of damage, gained 48 experience, 200 coins, reached level 9, defense increased by 1. Fools, light will never defeat the darkness. Oh look, there was the little... There was the kind of pompousy mayor's snot-nosed grandson. She, that evil woman! was going to take me to Runefoss to feed me to a dragon. Thank you, I'm going home and I'm never leaving. Good for you, kid. Good for you. I'm kind of annoyed I lost both of my mages and healers there, but... We still won the fight, so I'm not too bad, too annoyed by it. 
Let's see, was there anything over here? Okay, that was the chest that's pretty much like open regardless when you enter this fight. Okay, so that's essentially your first experience with a actual real boss, and wow, okay, that took us 20 minutes just to finish that fight. So I'm going to end the video off here shortly, and the next one we will exit the circus tent here and continue on with the story. So until then everybody, I will see you all later. Please remember to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one where we leave the tent here and continue on to see what's going on. So until then everybody, goodbye.